And it's gotta be Again, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another episode of the Color Commentary, where we give you views from a different side. Of course, I'll be your sensei, Rashad Waters, the owner and founder of Block Band Music and Publishing, the company that sells music and instruments to marching bands all across the nation. But today, we'll be talking about Karate Kid, the 1984 movie phenomena that introduced people to Daniel LaRusso and Mr. Miyagi and their struggle to deal with bullying and uh, dealing with immigration and all kinds of things like that. And now in 2018, we've come a long way. The roles have changed for Daniel LaRusso the roles have completely changed for Mr. Miyaki, who's dead. And now we're looking at Johnny, not Johnny English, but Johnny Lawrence. We're picking up to see where he is. Cobra Kai is a show that is picking up in 2018, but, but <laughs> based off of what happened at the end of the 1984 Karate Kid movie. Uh, it is a YouTube show where you can watch the first two episodes for free, and the rest of them you have to pay for the su subscription. The Color Commentary crew will be talking about this great movie. We'll be using all of our skills here and bringing in our old belts and weapons in order to give you the best commentary possible. Let's go ahead and bring in our host. Hi! First of all, Mr. Daniel LaRusso, or should I say Daniel Quick? How you doing over there, sir? It's not Daniel, first of all. We, it's Daniel. There, there are no Daniel. Well, I got an uncle named Daniel. He's a cool dude, but it's Danny Quick. Hi! Daniel's son <laughs> in the building. Daddy's son. Cobra Kai. <laughs> this Cobra Kai up in here, son. Got the ace blades out, uh, the black swords. I don't know how to use this. I don't know what to do with them. But... <laughs> yes, yeah, I just put those away. I felt like it was appropriate <laughs> because it's Cobra Kai, son. Let's go. Nice. And what's going on there, sir? Mr. The master of the open hand technique in Japan known as karate. Mr. Charlie Chuck Taylor. Hello, sir. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Yeah, I don't, I don't need <laughs> weapons. These are my weapons, son. These are my weapons. Uh, uh, ah. Yeah, you didn't see that. You didn't see that. Cobra Kai, Cobra. <laughs> but yeah, that's, um, you know, I'm here ready to review this. this is, I enjoyed the first two episodes, so I, I think we'll have a, a great discussion on uh, the next portion of it. So stay tuned. Let's go. Let's get it on. All right, Mr. Uh, Danny Sun. First of all, sir, what were your thoughts about this? What did you like about Karate Kid? About Karate Kid? I never was into Karate Kid. Not no. Karate Kid. I'm sorry. Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. My bad. I, I need to oh. do 20 well, push-ups on my knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> still, I didn't. I didn't. I never was really into um, Karate Kid. I wasn't big on it. Um, I watched it, of course. I think everybody who grew up in the 80s and 90s watched it. Um, I even saw the Jaden Smith version. I hope he makes a cameo. If Jaden Smith makes a cameo, that would be dope. Uh, they can't afford him, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, they can't afford, afford Jaden. Uh, but I wasn't really big into Karate Kid. I, I, uh, but I enjoyed this. This was dope. I really... Uh, I'm really feeling it. I'm actually, I'm actually already on episode three. I went ahead and got the YouTube Red uh, free trial. Um, so I'm going to try to watch it within this 30 days. There's, I don't think there's another show on, on YouTube Red that actually there is. There are a couple of shows on YouTube Red that are pretty good, but that look pretty good. But uh, let me finish this one first. Yeah, then we'll see. we'll see. How much is that YouTube Red anyway? $10, nine ninety nine. Dang, another subscription? Yeah. I might as well get satellite. Yeah, Hulu. Right? Netflix. <laughs> YouTube Red. 
ten dollars. All right, about to, about to be another ten dollar a month. Well, I tell you, all these nine dollars, ten dollars a month. Let me get your let me get your subscription, bro. There you go. <laughs> well, what did you like about dollars? We'll all use it under the under the color commentary. We'll get a color commentary subscription, and we'll all watch it under there. <laughs> there, we, there, we there go. you go. That's, That's just three ninety nine a month. Three thirty three a month. Three thirty three a month, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to join right, in? What did, you, what did you like about it, though, Dad? Oh, what did I like about it? I like the um the nostalgia of it was pretty cool. Like I felt that off bat. They did a good job bringing a, bringing us up to to speed. Even people who weren't really you know uh, familiar with the lore, you know, we could see in the flashbacks. Um, they established the characters really quickly, like who they were and and why they didn't like each other, or why you know the main character didn't. What's his name? Is his name uh? I have no clue. I'm the guy who doesn't know people's Johnny? names. Right. You are now the Johnny? guy that doesn't know people's names. Yeah. Are we talking Johnny. about Daniel son? I only know Daniel. That's the only person I know from the whole series is Daniel son and Mr. Miyagi. And Mr. Miyagi's gone. So uh Johnny, they did a great job setting him up, showing why he didn't like um Daniel LaRusso and what kind of person he was. Like they did a really good job establishing the characters in those first two two episodes. And the um the what the con conflict was gonna be, they did a good job with that. So, uh yeah, I'm already on episode three. As soon as we get done with this, I'm gonna be back up there watching it. <laughs> okay, Mister uh, Mister Taylor. Oh, I enjoyed it. Um, <clears throat> the first two episodes had me pretty much hooked. Uh, kind of just seeing that first episode was just horrible for for Johnny, bro. I was like, <laughs> everything was going wrong for him. Got fired. You know, just it was just bad. I, I was laughing, laughing at, especially when he was talking to the uh, to the lady he put the TV up on. Mm. <laughs> he was like, at me. He's like, "What you call me? I didn't call her." <laughs> I was like, "Bro, it's like, dang." He just he just say everything he think about. I'm like, <laughs> "It's like he's just he talking about bitching at me." Like, okay, yeah, you weren't gonna be hired very long for that. But yeah, just kind of seeing him trying to, I guess, get through his life, and then seeing Daniel. Like uh, everywhere, billboards, and uh, even on the commercials, dudes like watching the movie and commercial comes on. Daniel, Daniel uh, <laughs> shop pops up there. Like, dang, it's like all oh, he get just replaced is getting kicked in the face and everything going wrong. I was like, uh -huh. and then that next episode, you know, kind of got into him, kind of what happened on his story, like how his uh his sensei treated him. After getting second place, and then like just kind of seeing all that, I was like, dang, I kind of see why he went a little downhill. Like he just never could get over that, you know. And his whole mm -hmm. life, all he ever lived is just his high school, his high school memories and things. He was even remembering the bad memories when Mr. Miyagi was beating him up and stuff. Right. Um, <laughs> and, and, and real quick, Mr. Miyagi, Mr. Miyagi was beating up high school kids. So what was what's the big deal with him beating up high school kids? I mean, he just helping mm -hmm. a helping a, a little nerd out. This was, a different uh, you know, he was going a little too far. He was going a little too far, though. <laughs> that man, that man came and just drop kicked that kid in the face. I was like, oh, my God. He just <laughs> really drop kicked the kid in the face. Like, the kid, like, pushed him. He, like, just comes with, like, a dang drop kick, you know, yeah. matrix <laughs> style up in the air. I was like, oh, man. I'm like, dude, really? Like, they're not, they're high schoolers. I was Yo, like, yeah, I don't even know how to think, feel about this one. He did not think twice. He was like, look, hey. Push me, push me one more, push me one more time. I don't even think he got that one more time. It was like the first time. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I don't know what he's going to be teaching these kids. I would kind of be like Daniel a little bit, a little scared because you're going to have some straight up thug um, kids that were getting bullied. They'd just be drop kicking everybody in the face, teachers in the face, you know, policemen in the face, everybody getting drop kicked in the face because that's, <laughs> that's the sensei. I don't really know. It's a strike first mentality. So, I mean, you can't really say right. somebody hit you if you got a strike first, you know. If they step up to you, you just punch them. So I mean, I, I don't know really how that's where where this is going. I mean, he figured that's what worked for Daniel because that's how he lost. He got kicked in the face. Yeah, got kicked. So. Yeah, he got kicked in the face, and they replayed that quite a bit. So I mean, they just loop that thing. I mean, just looping it. Psh, psh, psh. Mm -hmm. Like every five minutes, you just see him getting smacked in the face. But yeah, I just like how they introduce each other's family. Like you kind of saw how um, Johnny had, like he has a son. Um, 
When you see his dad kind of coming in like, I want you out of my life. That was funny when he went and take that check up, check up. I was like, <laughs> he's gonna he, he's gonna go back and get that check. He only made one one pair. Yep, he's coming back for that check in about thirty minutes. So <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice check too. Hey, I was like, what? he just went and bought a dojo and crap with him. Like, what did he? What much money did he give him? Right. What was that check? Like, like thousand dollars? Just drop up the mic on that. But yeah, I, it, the first episode was awesome. So I, I can't wait to watch the rest of it. Nope. <laughs> About to get drop kicked in the face right now. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I really like the show. Christian, did you like um, the show? Hold on. Christian, I, oh. did you like uh, Cobra Kai? What's Cobra Kai? The Karate, the karate Kid movie we were watching. Huh? Get out. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I ain't shot. I ain't shot. Bye. Bye. All right. Shh. Let me finish this. Oh. He said, he said, you what is you Cobra know he's coming Kai? back, right? They're all coming. Oh, see, back. there's another one. <laughs> They're all coming. So, show's a wrap for you, sir. You might as well just go ahead and put your mic on mute. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So, um, yeah, man, I really love the show, man. I, I thought it was really cool. I think that you might have to have seen Karate Kid in order to appreciate everything that was happening because so much of it was like a foil to what was happening in the original Karate Kid. Like one of my favorite parts is when the, um, the kid, Miguel, was cleaning the, uh, the dojo. He was cleaning the windows. And he's like, sir, is there any way, is there any way that you want me to do this? And he's like, no, nah, do it the, uh, any way the hell you want to do it. <laughs> and see, if you've never seen Karate Kid, that is, that's just a throwaway line. But you know, yeah. anybody who's seen Karate Kid would know that it's all about wax on, wax off. That's the training that Daniel received when he didn't think that he was getting any training at all. So that was awesome. Um, it seems that we're entering in this period of time where we're doing all these uh, 80s references. So, of course, you get... Uh, Stranger Things has been doing it. Now we got this movie. You know, so everything that happens in this movie, particularly as it pertains to Johnny, is living in the past. You know, he's got the Firebird. He's listening to music from the uh, from the past. He's talking about Guns and Roses. Um, he's watching Iron Eagle, which I had to look up. I'm like, what the heck movie is this? I'm like, who the heck is Chappie? But I looked up. Like, oh, it's Iron Eagle. Okay, so it's very interesting how the directors. Huh? I thought that was Top Gun. I didn't know what that was. All right, well, ain't no black people on top. <laughs> <laughs> but um, let me see. It's just very interesting how when you see Johnny, everything is in the past for him, you know, versus when you see Danny, everything is in the future. He's got the brand new Audis, brand new uh, Porsches, brand new, um, you know, his house, everything looks brand new. So it's very interesting. I, I really appreciate the directing as far as that is concerned. Um, I love seeing Danny's uh, reaction to seeing Cobra Kai for the first time. You know, they were, in the second episode, he woke up and life is grand. He's got this beautiful wife and he's That's cooking perfect. breakfast for his kids and he's making money. He's feeling successful. Everything is going great. And then he pulls up and he turns to the left. He's like, oh. <gasps> <laughs> like that reaction, I loved it. Um, and I loved how the roles are reversed a little bit in some ways, and some ways it just kind of switched. Like in some ways, Johnny is the underdog, but he still hasn't learned his lesson. So he's the underdog, but he's not necessarily the good guy. And Danny is definitely like the top dog, but at the same token, he's not necessarily a bad guy just because he's up top. A lot of this show has to do with perspectives. It's all about how you look at it. Like the argument that they had right at the end of the second episode, Daniel went in a half cop because he thought that Johnny was beating up those kids because that's what uh, Kyler, he did. that's what Kyler told him. But in actuality, that wasn't the case at all. And Johnny tried to tell him that, but Danny is going off of what his, his perspective as far as how he thinks Johnny should be. So the whole show is all about perspectives and, and how you look at things. Um, I really, really, I really liked it. Let me see here. And uh, one other cool thing about it, if you're watching the show, if you are using the scroll icon, I don't know if you, you notice this or not, but if you're using it, like, if you're scrolling the little mouse thing over to, to get to different parts of the show, it's actually the Karate Kid icon, like the um, him doing the crane icon. Did y'all notice that? I did not notice that. 
Only yeah. you would know this. Set. Ah, well, you know, that's because I'm good at this. So anyway, uh, Mr. Danny, was there anything that you didn't like about Cobra Kai? Nope, not one single thing that I could pick out. And I did actually look for things to, to not like. Um, I, I'm a big proponent of um, 20, uh, what did they say, 30 to new 20. So I, I figured to be successful, just do whatever people were doing 30 years ago and um, refresh it, like make it fresh for 20 year olds. And then you got to you got to hit thing. And this time that we're in mm -hmm. is peak example of that. Um, everything that was dope in the 80s is coming back. And um, they, they did a good job with this one. It, they did so good that I didn't even second. I didn't even have a second thought of subscribing to YouTube Red. Um, now I just have to find some other shows to. I don't think they have enough shows, though, to 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 keep me for the next month. So unless they come out with like season two next month, <laughs> I don't see myself. There are there are a couple of shows though. I, I, I saw a trailer for the show called Ryan Hansen Solves Crime on television. It looks really funny. It's really meta. It's got some some pretty cool uh, feet, some uh, cameos in it. It looks dope. And there's a show called Lifeline on YouTube, Red. It's like a time travel show. I'm trying to check those two out um, before my 30 days is up. So you got me until then. Uh, you got binge watch. What? So you be binge watching a lot. Yeah, they got me until until um, June twelfth, and then <laughs> I, you've been given uh, you you have been given notice. <laughs> YouTube <laughs> thirty days. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Charlie? Was there anything that you didn't like about this? No, I'm I'm, I'm I kind of agree with Tori on that. I, at least the first two episodes, I liked everything. They set up the characters perfectly, seeing they're on two different sides of the spectrum when it comes to success in life and where they're at, um, maturity wise, and just you know, just on the physical, just seeing like you know, one's in a mansion, has everything going for them, you know, it's has been very successful since you know that one instance as a child, and another one has just went, you know, the opposite direction. So. I, I I'm enjoying them and they're kind of seeing them on the second uh the end of the second one kind of like butt heads for the first time because you know Danny Daniel was just kind of like just hey how you doing it was good to see you you look well it's good to see you you know type of thing and like kind of just it was kind of it was a little dirty how he how he did them at the uh, car dealership though I was like oh yeah he didn't have to do them like that Danny. I I was like you dropped some points for me like you just brought your buddies over there yeah I did kick his ass like really okay. <laughs> not, not, not cool right now, man. <laughs> and and then he looked like a, kind of like a hobo anyway. He looked like he's been he's been through the ringer. So, uh -huh. so so they did a great job just tying these character, you know, in and their backstories and kind of just seeing how they're going to coexist. And I want to see if um how this Cobra Kai is going to turn out. I don't know. Maybe Daniel's going to just try to get rid of it, or he's going to start his own dojo now. I mean, he has the money. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of ready to see the next next episode. Tori, what happened on the next episode since you already started? Look, episode, <laughs> three, episode three gets even better. I'm not even going, I'm not lying to you. Episode three gets even better. I'm only like, I'm only halfway through it. But like I told you, as soon as we're done with this, I'm going right back up. <laughs> oh, uh, but what about your boy? What about your boy, Johnny Sundo? This dude is a jerk. Yes. I would have, I was like, we, Oh, Johnny, it's, a, it's a, the mom's fault. I think I kind of blame it on the mom with that one because Johnny was like, I'm about to go throw him in the pool. And like, uh, every time he's about to do something with him, she's like, No, just let him out there. No, 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 no. You talking about, no, no, you talking about Danny. I mean, not Johnny, uh, Daniel. Daniel, I meant to say Daniel. Yeah, Daniel. You talking about Johnny's son or Daniel's son? I'm talking oh, Johnny about Johnny's son. Johnny's son is horrible. I don't know if there's no saving him. He, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that was really <laughs> Right. Oh, I'll see you when you get out of jail, son. Basically, <laughs> she called and said, uh, "She called and said, I found I found him with Molly." He was like, "Who was Molly? I don't know no Molly." <laughs> it's a drug. It's a drug. Hell of a drug. <laughs> and of course, that was a throwaway scene. That was a throwaway line. Uh, because who would say that? I mean, because Molly, if I'm understanding, it's like it's like cocaine. So 
you would say, hey, I found your son with cocaine. Like, what would you say, I found your son with Molly? Like, who the heck knows what Molly is outside of people who know, you know, like, if you know rap music, you know what Molly is, if you Molly know about Molly. But... What is Molly? There's not no cocaine, bro. Molly is like, what is it's it? like ecstasy. It's not, it's not cocaine. It's not cocaine. It's like <laughs> I'm like, man, shit, no, first of all, you go. I don't know what that is. So don't, all, so tell me what it is. Tell cocaine. me it's ecstasy. <laughs> he had cocaine. If he had cocaine, he would be calling his dad through a phone at jail in a pink <laughs> jump, in an orange jumpsuit. So <laughs> he didn't have that. You're right, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I, I definitely have lost some points in my street cred here. <laughs> yeah. You went, you went to uh, I'm kind of like you guys. What do you say? You went to negative points on street cred. <laughs> yeah, I got negative points. That's it. My bad. <laughs> um, I'm kind of like you guys, man. I really... It really wasn't anything I, I really disliked about the show. I thought the show was well written. As I think it's compelling. You want to see what happens with the different characters. You want to see how this knot uh, unties. And but I'm kind of like what you were just about to say, Charlie. Uh, I know you guys as dads. <laughs> when Daniel's son started talking to him back, like, "Dad, where the hell is my drink?" <laughs> that would have been, been the end of my son. That would have been the end of my son right there. I went and got my son. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been, been like an anime. I would have been like an anime movie. Just like jumped into the next screen. It was like. <laughs> I, I know. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know one thing. That, that computer would have been in the pool. I was like, oh, oh, here, your, your computer needs to wash it, son. That would have been the first thing to happen. That would have been the first of his crap that got thrown away. But you could tell something is happening with Daniel that um, apparently it looks like he's not spending enough time with his, with his family because yeah. he look, he's lost control of them somewhere. It looks like his daughter is still kind of okay, but she's going to get messed up by the kids that are around her if he's not in her life enough and he's definitely not in his son's life enough so he needs to get his son off of that computer and drag him to do whatever he feels that he needs to do before because uh uh you, you're gonna be uh, i mean because he's talking to his wife like i should throw what he said i should throw that kid in the pool yes you should you should <laughs> you should throw him in the pool right now <laughs> You know, and then his mom, oh, and then the wife is not helping because he kicked out the kids for coming to the uh, coming to the pool party without his permission, and they're wearing his underwear. Your dog going straight and kicked him out. What? Yeah. You want to have a pool party? You want to get yelled at? Get yelled wearing at my too? drawers? <laughs> Say what? Business. Oh. I, look, if Kendra and Stephanie, I'm about to go talk to them about that right now. Don't <laughs> we got a Monica. <laughs> We got a trampoline over at our house, and they always, you know, there's a couple of kids, you know, uh, down, across the street, down the street, that come over and, and hang out. But I know those kids, okay? So those uh, kids are cool to come over whenever they want. Their parents are cool with it. I've talked to them. Don't have no kids from uh, your school coming down to my house wearing my clothes? No. <laughs> you about to get all the way embarrassed. You about to get right, oh, yeah. Over here, son. Yeah, all, all the way. That's Ridiculous. Dude, not just my clothes, not not just my clothes with my swim trunks. I mean, excuse me, uh, not safe for work, but they nut sacks is touching where my nut sack will go. No, <laughs> ain't enough chlorine. No. Ain't enough chlorine <laughs> in the world to fix that. <laughs> and and to, to expound, no, to, to talk, keep talking about this just a little bit more. How many pairs of swimming trunks does he have? <laughs> <laughs> he had like twenty pairs of trunks, bro. <laughs> Everybody, even the fat boy has some of his trunks on. <laughs> he like twenty five. He got his own brand of draw of a uh, swim trunks. Right, Larusso, Larusso brand. He kicking out his shorts. Um, the only thing I could find that I didn't like it was the very smallest thing, and that's just because I'm a for, former martial artist myself. So it's the very smallest thing. But at the final confrontation in episode two, where Johnny's confront, no, 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 it was at um, the end of episode one, where he said that uh, Daniel doing the crane maneuver was an illegal technique. How the heck is getting kicked in the face illegal? <laughs> what is what is that? That is not a, how is that an illegal technique? Only thing the crane technique is is I got my right leg up, look like I'm about to kick you with my right leg, and then I switch and kick you with my left leg. That what is that? That is that, how, that ain't nothing illegal about that. It's old switcheroo. Yeah. 
I didn't know he was going with that one. Yeah, a legal technique. Bro, you trying to break people's legs. <laughs> oh, I got a warning. Please. Yeah, you should get thrown out the tournament for that. You can't you can't be trying to break somebody's leg and then be like, oh, I got a warning. <laughs> we got a uh we got a, a comment said that they watched all ten episodes and they loved every minute. Uh Man of Sand commented down there and said that all, all ten episodes are great. So I mean I'm already on episode three. So Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on this. That brings us to the next question. Should people watch this show? And should people pay to watch this show? <laughs> Danny? Ooh, uh, <laughs> the 30 day membership? <clears throat> of course people should watch the show. Just off the off the strength of the first two episodes, I'm gonna say yes. Uh Man of Sand said they already approved the season two and it's already in uh, production so I mean if they can get season two out before my trial is over like I said uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take it. how about this, how about this? <laughs> watch season one for free pay for season two that's what I'll say <laughs> all I want to see at the end at the, I know it's not my turn but I, all I want to see at the end of this is uh half the cast disappear that would be that would just fade away. That would be as soon as they resolve the issue. I don't want to go. This is in the Marvel universe. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> go ahead, Charlie. Should people watch this show and should people watch it and pay for it? I definitely think people should watch the show. It's, it's the first episode's been really good and my my kid even was watching it. So even, all it well, it has a little bit of older uh tone in it, but you know, it my five-year-old will just start watching a show you know that doesn't have like superheroes in it you know it, it definitely can intrigue people in it so um mm -hmm. but yeah I, I i i i'm definitely gonna finish watching it um i'm gonna go ahead and get my 30-day free trial and uh go ahead and finish the rest of these these 10 episodes i'll see if i want to continue but i got so many subscriptions already hbo netflix you know, hulu i mean i just took off direct tv just for this reason Look, so, Time Warner. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I, I give a I don't know for the pay part. You have free 30 days, so you better use that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm listening to both of you guys. I'm listening, Charlie, to what you're saying now and also what you said before the show. <laughs> Danny, you, Danny, you got me thinking like, yeah, I, I might, I might go ahead and get YouTube Red just for thirty days, and then or just a few days, and then cut it off because I'm not trying. I, or like you said, I got too many subscriptions, man. Hulu and Netflix is enough. I'm not trying to have no more. This is what all net neutrality is all about. So they were warning us about. They're just gonna keep charging us with more and more stuff, you know. But uh, I might get that free one. But I also might just do what you said, Charlie. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I ain't scared to say it. Movies <laughs> one, two, three, <laughs> and just see what that's talking about, you know, and watch any show I want to watch. All right. Closing thoughts, Mr. Taylor. You got anything going on? Oh, uh, nothing going on. We're just you know still recovering from uh, you know Infinity War. You know we got Deadpool coming out, so. We're not gonna do any big party, but you know, we'll, the color commentary crew will probably do something a little bit together. Hopefully, we don't uh, need to do no parties for Deadpool. I mean that. Nah, I mean you'd nah, have nah. to have strippers. Nah, that. And, uh, <laughs> it would just be bad. It would be bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> we got a solo, solo coming at the end of the month. On my birthday. So, so we'll see. Oh, it, oh yeah, it's your birthday. Oh, you gonna make a big deal about that? Oh, here we go. But uh. <laughs> So we'll see what's going on with that one, but uh, yeah, you know, we're just you know doing everything over here at Cafe, taking it, taking it easy, and uh, you know, doing these parties. But I'm out. Nice, Mister uh, Danny, Danny son. Closing uh -huh. thoughts, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. I was you watching to sleep over there. episode three. I'm all watching the episode. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. My YouTube rage just came up. I was. Uh... <laughs> I was trying. Oh, let me turn this off. Let me turn it off. Oh. <laughs> no, I uh yeah, no closing thoughts for me. I uh I'm already I'm already heading upstairs to watch the next episode. Um Ace Blade is still going on the Kickstarter. We reached our goal. 
uh, AceBladeComic.com. We're doing a contest for Ace Blade Art um, at the end of the month. By the end of the month, um, submit yours for uh, before June 1st, and uh, you can win $250. Um, other than that, I'm out. Stay vigilant, my friends. Um, Cobra <laughs> Kai. And speaking of staying die. vigilant, Oh, see. <laughs> oh, watch out. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of staying the vigilant, uh, shout out again to our friend uh, Corpulent Geek, who gave you in particular a shout out there, um, Danny, but he actually mentioned your phrase during his show. He's got a new show where he's talking about um, Skynet. He's talking about uh, virtual reality and how virtual reality, it's called Skynet Watch, and it's basically talking about basically reporting if you see virtual reality being in a place where it shouldn't be and he said you got to be vigilant and he said i got that from the color commentary guys so we oh, def got, definitely will give love where love was given to us so we appreciate it and uh, if i see where virtual reality is taken over i will definitely let you know sir there we go but, um, <laughs> <laughs> probably virtual reality probably got me subscribing to some stuff i don't need to subscribe in that's where <laughs> <laughs> Where all these ten ninety nines out of my account come from? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Thanks again for watching our show. We hope that you enjoyed it. Of course, as usual, you can always go down to the uh, description so you can see more of our shows where we talk about Infinity War multiple times, Agents of Shield, Black Panther. Unfortunately, Annihilation <laughs> and many other movies that you might enjoy getting our, our feedback on. Of course, give this show a like if you liked it and make sure to subscribe to survive. Again, this is Color Commentary where we give you views from a different side. Peace. And it's gotta be Say happy Mother's Day. There, there, there you go. There you go. To all the mothers out there, and particularly to my mother, I definitely want we want to wish you guys a happy Mother's Day. We appreciate you guys always thinking about us all the time, raising us to be the men that we are. And we just we love you so much. And uh, we'll do anything for you. Thank you so much, Mom. Mama. Thank you, Mama. 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 Go ahead, Charlie. Mama. Mama. Mama, you read up my heart. Star. I want you to know. I want you to know. I want you to know. That's going to be hard. Mama. I love you, Mama. <laughs> I love you, Mama. Mama, quick, mama. and and Tiana too, Mama. That's the Mama for real. Look, all my mamas. And it's gotta be. Sentimentos project. That's the only thing that's soothing my soul. Turn on the TV to. Power Rangers. Yeah. Now it's morphing time. I'm ready to go. And it's gotta be. Sentimentos project. That's the only thing that's soothing. So, turn on the TV to power.